day of reckoning. Window master's going to go in this morning. Either it's going to be a success or it's going to be a big fail. We'll have to make it up as we go. I still own a drill. I can see me drilling holes and making things work. To show you what I've done here this morning, run the butyl strip on. I haven't quite peeled the tape off yet, still thinking about what I'm going to do there. As soon as you touch with anything, it sticks and grabs, obviously. Yeah, down up around the corner up there, right up around the top of the cab. And yeah, I had to put a bit of thought into what I'm doing because the mask will seal up here, but then the cap comes over onto the mask. So, um, yeah, I need to seal the underside of the roof cap. This front piece up here won't have any butyl on it. The mask gets riveted to it, but then the cap comes over the front. So that's where it'll get sealed there. I'll make it up as I go. And when it's all together, and we'll just make sure we only go outside on a sunny day. And we'll never have a leaking issue. I'm happy how that's gone on. Um, I've just had to... Oh, I've got a little bit there I need to do yet. Peel that and I'll put a joint piece in there. But yeah, got that up around there. Try and grab a few shots as we go. Okay, we've reached a bit of a milestone here. Managed to get this mask sitting on the truck here. Yeah, a couple of little difficulties to deal with. The butyl has grabbed it. It's a bit hard to work along. So I purpose made a um, taper punch here to turn to size. Got that in there, got a clamp holding it, it's up close. Got the first hole all lined up. So we're gonna have a go at riveting it. Here's the fasteners gonna use. Sorry, the light's on it. So I'll show you a sample. You're obviously gonna see on the truck in a minute what we've done, what we're gonna do. So here's a sample piece here try one to see how it's all going to go so yeah they've still got a centre piece in them I'm not a fastener type person I don't understand all the different brands and names and that but as far as I'm concerned that's yeah I'll do some body work on those and I'll just hide that centre piece the trucks are already full of them now when you look closely there's nearly half of them is um, these here anyway I'm not worried about it so size wise it's going to be about the same size as the standard um, rivet on there now. And we'll have a go at putting one on and see what happens. No question about that. My, um, all that's come loose. Really pulled it in. So there's my it's turned to size with a little taper on it. Line up. I might step up and drill size. So I'm just running the drill through to clean them all. I think that's a, can't remember now what size it is, 6.5, we'll have to step up a number wise. Ah, it's going to work. Alright, let's see if we can put another one in. You can really set, pull the frame in. Pretty powerful. Oh, I'll keep working along and get halfway, then realise, bugger, something's meant to be put in there. I'll make that mistake and see it coming. So I got this bracket up top here. 
when the roof cap goes on. Um, figure out how it goes now. I'll figure it out. Oh, sorry, it goes up in the back there. Yeah, fits up in there. No, that's not drilled, it's just a blank at the moment. I'll put the roof cap on, I'll put that up in there, and I'll line it all up and drill through. And that's for the centerpiece in the window support here. The other one was rotten, made that up. Things like that I often get to put in, I get all carried away, putting the roof cap on, going, oh dear. But you know, it's coming along good. I'll be happy if this goes on and it all lines up. I do know that I'm going to be fighting it to get it around the corner here. I'll just have to keep chasing the holes along. I'm obviously not going to re-drill um, just another hole in the cab. I'll make sure I'll try and get it pretty lined up and bar it along, bar it along. The, the butyl's grabbed it here. It's quite a bit of tension on it. And I'm just hoping I've got this right here. Yes, yeah, see, it's got to come down a long way. It's very high at the moment, sitting up in there. So, Anyway, I can see to do it is work it along on the holes. And if I can't get it to come down with the hole, I'm obviously not going to just drill another one and rivet it. I need to come back over here and work at it a bit. I'll do a bit more and I'll flick the camera back on, but you know how to get on. Show you what I've done. Got around to here. That one's out because I have made a bracket to go in here and hold the wiper motor. But yeah, my bracket was wrong. I pulled it over thinking, oh yep, that'll all work. But I cut a little template out of the um, bolt hole just there, of the dash. I'm not sure how that goes. Oh, sorry, wrong way up. Anyway, that goes on there. And that's where the dash is gonna sit and um, I had it pulled over and it was all going to yeah, not work so I just had to modify my bracket do some work on it so I just left that hole blank for now it's not going to matter so I got around the corner here I'll just show you some of my clamping exercises it's squeezing the butyl the rubber out there it's obviously sealing like here you just yeah, it's out so I need to relocate clamps and pull that in those um, fasteners yeah, they don't really, they do pull it in, but I certainly don't want to be that far out. So, yeah, up inside here, I'll try and show you, there's a couple of holes there. So they'll, they'll get fastened there. I've got that all clamped, that's pulled down. We can only keep moving forward. As I said, we can always cut a square and then make it round for the window. It's, you're looking along there, obviously I haven't got the other end in, clamp's sitting in the way I know. It's to the eye, I can see a bit of a curve, obviously the other end, don't look at that, this end here. I don't know what else you can do. I think the rubber will take a fair bit up, the window seal. Right, I'll shift clamps. Oh, obviously I'm not filming this as I do it, you don't need to watch me muck around couple of hours has gone by it's, it's taken me ages to get this far I'm just taking my time to try and get it right I'm not against any time restraints here or anything just today's one of those days take my time and try and get it in right just to show you some of the trickery I've got to do I've got a clamp on here and I've got my tapered bar and I uh, pull up on my tapered bar at the moment and push down on my clamp and that's pushing all the frame in and then I lock it and that's in, it's in tight there it's pulling in it's real tight it's good so I think one of the best things I did was make this little, it's got beautiful all stuck over it. Yeah, I just tur turned that down to the size of the, of the rivet there. 
and it's obviously you just ground a little point on it. Uh, what I do is I just get that there, and see it pushes straight in, so it's lining up. I've got no issues there with that now, but I need to, my paint, I'm having a few problems because no room in the back here. I seem to be able to trick it enough. I'll just pull that down like that. So I poke the drill in there just to clean the hole. And this rivet gun's real fancy. It's got a um, it's got a vacuum function on it, so you can actually sit the rivet in there, flick it, and it sucks it in. But I haven't been using that. I normally just sit the rivet in there to make sure it's all good. And sit the gun back on. Hold this clamp down. One thing with doing the bottom first, um, if I don't get it right, it's not gonna leak on the bottom here, water. I know water travels up along joints and gets in under pressure with the wind and that, but as I said, it's not gonna be going very far. The butyl's in there, it's, it just sticks to that all the time. It's in all the holes. You see, some of them don't quite line up. Clean it out. Some of the holes have been multiple holes drilled in there and it's all a bit of a mess. Now yeah, that went in. It's just the beautiful. So that's quite good. I don't have to push that anywhere at the moment. It's yeah, it's all centre. We're running into a problem here. Oh, so that one's in tight. It's not going to go in anymore there. That rivet in and see what it does for the next one. I haven't drilled the hole. These these fasteners are slightly bigger than what the standard one was. It's not much, it's like half a mil. So say I just clean the hole out. It goes in. Rather than a snake fit than all loose and it's time. I put more butyl stripping around the top of the cap here, the window mask. I run it on all the bracing on the top of the cab here. Everyone's got one on it. Don't across the joint there. I've still got the tape on it, obviously. I haven't lifted that off. So I've tidied the wiring up the best I can. Got rid of all the CB stuff, chatterbox material. So hopefully, I'm probably making a mistake here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what these wires are. Something I need to do is go home and print out a wiring diagram. I've got one for the engine, um, but not the cab stuff. I'll get that so I can track those numbers. Um, these ones here, obviously roof lights. I'm going to cut the connectors off the old lights, put those back on, and then do a heat shrink joint to the new light. That's my plan. I'll probably kick myself. I'll put the cap on and realise I should have done it in a reverse process, but I love making mistakes. It's all part of the fun, makes it work for myself. Yeah, these ones here, I'm just not sure. They must have been for an extra marker light. It's on both sides of the cab. It's part of the marker light system, I'd say. Strobe lights, maybe? Don't know. Right, before we lift this roof cap on, a sort of bit of forward planning. As I talked about before, the horn's non-operational, so I thought, what's the point of having the hole in the roof cap? 
just another place for water to get in. So I put some tape underneath and I put some steel fibre filler material in here and sort out what way that goes. It goes that way. So I'll put some uh, rubber sealant material under there as well. Seal that onto there. That'll get hucked onto the main frame of the cab up there. It'll pull in tight. I'm going to sand the rest of this cap once it's on the truck. It's, it's had one sand or a couple of sands. It's covered in dust at the moment. But the trouble is, it's, yeah, you press on it and it just goes out of shape. So it's no good to sand like that. Get it back on there and get it fixed. So it's rigid. We know what we're working with. We need to fill any areas. We can do it. So done the same on this one. Got the, got the horn hole filled. Um, so yeah, I think I'm ready to lift that up there and have some disasters trying to fit it. We'll see how it goes. Right, did the big lift. I've sat it up there. Bit of a mission. As soon as you put it down and it touches that rubber, it's, yes, you can't. See, I'm pulling hard. I can't move it. It grips. So it's going to be a mission. I don't know what I'm going to do in the middle there. Got a big gap. Be pulled down. I have to hop inside and try and push it up, feed it back, do something. I knew it was going to happen. Um, I've got it sitting on there. It's right around the side. It's too far forward here. Yeah, sort of grab a few shots and show you the issues. That's the trouble with that rubber, eh? It just great stuff, but man, once it grabs. That's it, she's on. So I'll try and I'll get up the top and try and pull that back a bit so I can get that fastened onto there. Trouble is it's touching, uh, there's a gap under there. It's touching on the corners. Yeah, it's right on on that one. I'll work away at it and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to put a fastener in. What a look, eh? Got the visor sitting on there. I know the light's reflecting off the roof there. I've gone gone through, got all the um, oh, the light. I know the light's on the camera. Sorry. Got all the top riveted or hucked in on the roof cap on the front here. As I just said, I got got the front fixed on the cap here but I run out of fasteners so I've given up I've only got a guide um, punch in here just holding that so none, none of the backs um, pulled in yet but the front lined up I struggled a little bit on the corner this one was alright but the other corner um, yeah, I was fighting with the cap a bit so I had to stretch it and pull it around it's had multiple holes drilled in it before so it's always been an issue so my next thing was to um, fill the holes in the front which hold the visor on so these rev nuts I think that's what you call them rivet nuts so I've got the size I want there I've just got to clean the holes and they fit they are metric so yeah we're going from the imperial to a metric truck now but I know you can buy imperials but then you need a different tool to fit them so try and get out of the light so I borrowed this marvellous tool for putting them in it's just yeah it really worked well I had to learn how to use it so I've gone along and mount, mounted them in the I'll pull that down mounted those in there and I've just set this visor on here I'm going to pop that out now because I wanted to find, I, I'd filled the hole in the roof here and luckily I didn't go and so-called drill it out where I thought it was because I would have been wrong. So it's re-drilled, so I've got to put a, a nut in there and for some reason on this side it was where the existing hole already is. So. I'll try and put a nut in there. I 
That's, yeah. I'll get some more fasteners so we can carry on with the cap. But it's quite an achievement. It's pretty slow getting it on. I'm clamping uh, er every time I um, put a rivet in for the roof cap, I clamp it, clamp it both sides and make sure everything's pulled in. Just taking my time to get it right. I've put a bit of sealant around um, the rivets as well, but that rubber util material is oozing out when you pop the rivet in and pull it. So I'm confident all that's sealing really good. Yeah, I just went and put the nuts in the in the roof here. That fitted in there. Just put some bolts back here and remounted this. So obviously both the ends and the roof cap. And I went through my box of bits and um, I found the found the brackets. I kept thinking I had to make something, but yeah, I, you know, I can't really show this. I'll try. That goes. Where are we? It goes down onto that bolt there it sits on the roof cap why don't you it'll go under that yep and I already put a little um, rib nut in here and that'll pick up the bracket and then that picks up the visor there pleased I've got those yeah there's the little rib nut in there hole in the bracket there so yeah, it's coming together good. I'll get all that mocked up. So obviously when everything's painted, we're not dealing with trying to drill holes and scratch things. And I bet you got part numbers on them. Those genuine part. I might put some rubber under those. I'll have to think about that. As I do, I think about a lot of things. Um, did a bit of body filling on the corner here. It's my fault. Being honest, I was tr having trouble getting the cap on. It was just that rubber really grips, and I was trying to stretch the cap. So I thought, oh, I'll put a block of wood on here, and I'll just put some weight on it and tap it. Yeah, I tapped it all right. I was like, oh no, I rippled the corner. So I body filled that, and I'll rub all that off. Wasn't in the best of shape anyway, but yeah, you wouldn't want me working on a brand new truck. It'll be 40 years old by the time I'm finished with it. Be full of wrinkles. Something else I'll throw in here. I had the body man come out here yesterday. And we had a look at these tanks. And yeah, with his experience, he could pick up where I'm not right. But as I discussed, I'm not going to try and make them perfectly round. It's just not practical. It's not a show truck. No one's going to get underneath and go, oh, you're half an inch out there. It's, I mean, as I talked about, the tanks have been pushed in. I've worked from the lowest point and I've worked out to here and it's the bottom. Yeah, it's still got a flat in it. So, yeah, as long as what's visually showing and we don't, obviously don't have big dents still visible and humps and hollows to create shadowing on the paint. Um, as he talked about, what I've done, he said it's, it's like 90%. So it's going to be all right. So I've just... Started chucking a bit of finer filler on, and I just sit here, and when the light's shining in the door, and just anywhere I can see a little bit of pitting or anything not right, where I don't think the build prime is going to catch it, I'm just putting that on. I haven't sanded that, put it on this morning, I just leave it all day. Done the same on this tank, get a bit of a go at it. It certainly will be nice to start squirting some primer on things, and you're getting bit of a, a sense of achievement with the amount of work you put into something get paint on there and start getting it to show a few results so I'll make this a uh, end of video clip um, I'll upload what I've got for the week I haven't checked what's on the GoPro here I know there's not much but that's all good I just keep trying to throw something up and I know I've got some keen followers out there and obviously People watch your videos, they don't subscribe, but that's okay. I do the same to other uh, YouTubers as well. 
But I see, yeah, I've hit the 100 um, subscriber mark now, so pretty chuffed with that considering these videos are not exactly riveting stuff compared to what's out there, but it's just a slow project and it's what it is. And I enjoy turning the camera on and grabbing a little bit and sharing what I'm doing. I'm not here trying to teach people how to do something. It's just what I do and it's just one of those things you either enjoy watching it or you don't. Um, I found another YouTuber, he's, um, yeah, he's doing a cab over and I like the way he presents his videos, he's just working away at it and it's another, I subscribe to him so, um, I mean I, I don't harass people and try and um, put links to my channel and that if they wish to have a look to see who you are and, and it comes up, well good luck but yeah, I just do what I do. I'm enjoying it. It's actually quite satisfying now. The truck's sort of, yeah, we've turned the, the point of ripping things off it and obviously semi-assembling now and mocking things up. I'll obviously disassemble for paint, but that's all good. You know, it's just going to bolt up when you're finished. So I'll get some more fasteners and we'll get the rest of this cap fitted in the next couple of days. I'm tied up for the next day or so, but yeah, I'll keep working away on it. And... Starting to warm up a bit here now too. Obviously the Northern Hemisphere, they'll be going the other way, but uh, yeah, our days are getting a bit longer and a bit warm. It's just t-shirt, coveralls or overalls, whatever you want to call them at the moment. It's, yeah, it's not as bad as it has been. So I'll end it there and I'll say thanks and yeah, smash that subscribe and like button and we'll keep this going. Thanks for watching.